Darwin actually, interestingly, at the end of The Origin of Species, there's a beautiful little um, epilogue where he says, there is grandeur in this view of life. It's a famous piece where he talks about, uh, from so humble and simpler beginnings, endless life, uh, and endless forms most beautiful have been and are being evolved. It's this beautiful little thing. And he talks about how life having originally been breathed into a few forms or into one. And there was such a backlash from the religious that in the second edition of The Origin of Species, there is an edition that's breathed by the creator hmm. into few forms or into one. Because he, he felt the need to add in this reference to God. And it's probably due to the backlash, but it may also just reflect his own like flip-flopping on religion. Hmm. Because by the third edition, it was gone again. Hmm. And this happens quite a lot, like people like defacing their their books. Like Peter Singer recently did this for Animal Liberation, the, the, the father of the animal rights movement, who wrote in 1975, the greatest defense of animal ethics that has probably ever been written. I mean, it's just phenomenal and very confronting. And he was using all of these arguments that in the most recent updated edition, he had to, he, he felt the need to take out because they were like not politically correct anymore. Mm. Even though they were really useful philosophical arguments, he like, he like for took example. them out. So for example, um, when he talks about giving animals rights, a lot of people say, well, we can't give animals the same rights as humans. You know, we're not going to give them the right to vote and stuff like that. And Peter Singer is like, well, to give people equal consideration doesn't mean you literally give them the same rights. For example, you wouldn't give men abortion rights. Hmm. And that's not an inequality thing. You hmm. give them the same consideration, but it doesn't mean you give them literally the same rights. It mm -hmm. just means that you give them the same consideration. So you wouldn't give men abortion rights. You wouldn't give animals voting rights, but you give them the same consideration. 